If you've been watching the Backcountry Nomad channel for a while now, you'll know that it doesn't really matter whether you're driving a 4x4 off-road vehicle or an adventure motorcycle or even a dual sport. What's most important is just that you get out there and you explore. So what is the PPAT? Well, the PPAT is a 500 mile loop that circles through Massachusetts, primarily central and western Massachusetts, that you can follow um, on a Garmin, Zumo, or ONX, or Gaia, phone app, anything that you can upload a GPX file to and follow a route. So where can you find the GPX file for the PPAT? Well, it's easy to find. You can go to the Facebook group, Backcountry Nomad, and look there under the drop-down menu that says files, or you can go to the website, www.backcountrynomad.com. So I would encourage all of you to download the free version of the GPX file. This week we'll be sharing episode one, which is day one and day two on the PPAT. What an outstanding morning. The weather is beautiful. Getting ready to head up to the Mount Wachusa Auto Road to start a great adventure with some good friends. Backcountry Nomad, and I'm here with special guests, James, OSJ, uh, and uh, just Dave. <laughs> uh, we're here on the Piccadilly Pineapple Trail, yep. which is... Um, this is the first official start. With his, like, which is Jim's... Uh, my baby. He's his baby. It's yeah. his project. Yeah. So we've got the little bikes today. We're up here on the top of Wachusett Mountain as the official start of the PPT. So Jim came up with the name of the Piccadilly Pineapple Trail in honor of his great, 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 great grandmother yes. who came over on the Santa Maria. Santa Maria landed here in the in the U.S. From in Quebec in, City. From Quebec City in 1511. Uh, he wanted to give tribute to, to, to this trail that he's put together. <laughs> Um, so, hence the beginning part of the first name and the pineapple because it looks kind of like a pineapple when wow. you look at it on the GPX, right? Is that what it was? Because you mentioned the pineapple and you said you like to take pineapple juice and rub it all over your body. All over my body. So, so, well, it's a it's a, it's a a health benefit, Jim. Yeah, so, so, with that being said, we're getting ready to start off on our adventure today. Yeah. Uh, we've got the little bikes. We're up here on the top of Wachusett Mountain. we got the wind turbines in the background. So, so let let all your followers know that this is the official start too. We're Hello. making this the official start of the PPT. We are. Yes. Yeah. You can get the GPX file from New England Sport Touring. New England Sport Touring on Facebook, also on BackcountryNomad.com. Absolutely. Yeah. This and is a joint venture between Backcountry and New England Sport Touring. Yes. Uh, sure. Yes. Yes. And Dave. Yes. Dave is uh, is excited. <laughs> he's he's excited to be here today. Yes. Um, thanks, excited. Dave, for coming along. So. <laughs> Without further ado, I guess we'll just be underway. Yeah, well, let's start this room. Diverse terrain. Oh, look, the first water crossing. Oh, that gets a little deep. Oh, it does get a little deep. Yeah. Alright, so on this road we got a sign that says road temporary closed, but I guess we don't pay attention to that. It's just a warning sign. Oh! I guess this, this is what happens when uh, the road says it goes through and you get two months of solid rain, right? So part of this trip on the pineapple is exploration. 
That's right. This is why we pre-ride the routes for you guys. So look at this. Out on the trails, we run into people we know. What are the chances of that? Here, Dave, let's take a log and ride across that. What do you think? <laughs> This is the auxiliary route that we took with this washout. If you have a big bike and you're not comfortable, you may want to go around this, but we were feeling a little daring today, so we uh, hopped over this. Oh, big puddle. Big puddle. Big puddle. Very damn. So you can play disc golf here. Kind of cool. If you're into disc golf, you can do some adventure motorcycling and get in an afternoon of disc golf. And then they've got this big pavilion, which is a really cool place to have an event or a picnic. You can reserve it. Gas stop, a little town of Barry. Get some gas here. So we've got this abandoned like retreat center or something that's kind of a neat little feature. If you like boarded up stuff, maybe it was a summer camp or something for somebody. We'll have to do some research and find out just what this is. It's right here in the center. Let's check out the bell. And in town, in the center, you got this bell. Look at that bell. That's a big bell. Really cool. They're all kind of boarded up. Oh, and this is a, a stage. There's a stage over here, like for events and things. Might have had events here. I don't know. Performance. the benefits of exploring on a motorcycle over a Jeep. South Athol Methodist Parish Hall. Oh, okay, so this is South Athol. South Athol, Massachusetts. Got more buildings over here. Must have all been part of a Maybe a seminary or one of these buildings. Private property, no trespassing. Well, we're just riding around. You play basketball. Oh, they had a swimming pool here. Oh, yeah. Kind of cool. Basketball, shoot some hoops. All that. I've driven by here a bunch of times. I always kind of wanted to just get a closer look.
New Salem General Store. Great spot for lunch. When you're doing the Piccadilly Pineapple Trail, plan a lunch here, for sure. It's a great place to stop for lunch. Jim got the, what's it called? It's called the Prescott. It's called the Prescott Sandwich. Excuse my cheese. Dave got the ham and cheese wrap. Ham and cheese wrap. I got the Prescott as well. Good stuff. Giant cookies. Great place to stop. A little bit off the trail, not too far. Yeah, maybe a couple miles. Yeah. This is what happens when you go out exploring. You come across this. Well, guess there'll be a turnaround. So when you're sitting here at the Leverett General Store having your cup of coffee and your cookie, you can even go to the Leverett Library. You can borrow a book to read while you're drinking your coffee, like this one. So lucky enough on the trip here, we have, look at this, police public call box, better known as a TARDIS. If we were in England, this would be a TARDIS, right? Just like Doctor Who traveling in his TARDIS. Dave's going to go in. Check it out, Dave. Oh, I don't think you can. Maybe you can. Is there a phone in there? Can you call home? Oh, so actually, a TARDIS is where the English police would lock you up temporarily in the city. Right? Also, used in the Doctor Who series to trans to transport people another f another fun filled fact so as far as bikes here we got the bowling ball bike we got the bag bike and we get the box bike hmm what's the better option hmm Like Connecticut River Greenway Park. So we're taking the auto road up to Sugarloaf Summit. Cost a few dollars, but we're going to add it on to the PPAT official trail. We thought it's worth a stop. Overlooks the Connecticut River. Great place to end your day on the Piccadilly Pineapple Adventure Trail. Yeah. We're going to go look up at the top of Sugarloaf Overview. We'll see what the tourists say.
So these are probably all of the tobacco fields of the Connecticut River, I would assume. And these tobacco barns. So here's the Deerfield Inn. If you're on the so if you're on the Piccadilly Pineapple Adventure Trail, you can take a side trip out here to Deerfield, a little town of historic Deerfield, with all these historic homes that you can tour. Take a few hours out of your day, learn some history. Why not? So navigating the PPAT, some of these guys are using the Garmin, which one is it, Jim? Uh, the Garmin XT. And I'm using ONX Off-Road, which is a phone app. We've uploaded the GPS track onto our phones and our GPS devices, and we're just following along the route, hitting certain highlights and adding, adding waypoints, points of interest. So here in historic Deerfield, there's this memorial monument on this ground Thomas Lathrop and 84 men under his command, including 18 teamsters from Deerfield. They were ambushed by about 700 Indians and on September 18, 1675, looks like a whole bunch of people were murdered. 76 men were slain here in historic Deerfield. So it is the morning of day two here on the PPAT. Jim's up. He had his coffee. We stayed at an Airbnb last night. Three bedrooms, 300 bucks. Show the people the fireplace. Look, we got fireplace, giant TV, we got fish, we got kitchen, we got three bedrooms. What more could a moto travel trip ask for in an overnight stay? Nah, nothing. We got deer up on the ridge. We've got bananas for breakfast. Start of a perfect day. We got just Dave. Out here loading his bike. Everybody's getting ready. Did you sleep well, Dave? Yeah. Not Outstanding. Not Did you see that deer in the backyard? I, the deer in the back, yeah. He's posing for us. Yeah. All right, so we're getting ready for D2 on the PPAT. We survive the descent down the driveway. It's gonna be a good day. Dave is the first to attempt the driveway. I guess I'll be second. Yesterday we had the yesterday we had the Templeton Canyon. Today we have the Airbnb driveway. The driveway is not big bike friendly. past the abandoned house we were by yesterday. It warrants a visit, a visit at a later time. All right, now we're going to outlaw trails here. Road closed. It doesn't apply to us. This is the Deerfield Grand Canyon. Oh, 
Never mind. Just come through here. We're just going to just do this, Dave. Come on, Dave. You, just... This is YouTube gold. Here we go. All right, we're going to try it. We're going to try it. This is like the... This is like the obstacle course here at the... At the oh, jeez. Oh, this is low. This is like really low. <laughs> Jim's stuck in the tube. Jim's stuck in the birth canal. <laughs> Alright, let's go jump some school buses. up here to this Bill Cosby estate in Shelburne Falls. Bill used to spend a lot of time up here, him and his wife in Shelburne Falls. Just past the unsafe bridge. The abyss. Don't get lost in the abyss. Did we lose Jim? Is he is he gone? Did he loot did we lose Jim in a crater? some great roadside attractions here on the pineapple trail like this big huge giant apple oh my god imagine if it was a pineapple apple look at the size of that thing what kind of person would eat that a big person or someone that really likes apples Dave, think of the pie you could make with that apple. So look here at the junction of BR04. Someone's got a snowmobile up in a tree. Look at that. Go figure. Oh, look, I'm riding on my own again. It's all right. Don't worry, guys. I'm used to it. So for you YouTube people that are following along with this, you have to understand that we're in communication with each other. We have these comms and our helmets. Unfortunately, we haven't adapted the technology to be able to incorporate you into that yet, but maybe in future episodes, we'll have the technology to do that. If you like, if you like covered bridges, there's this bridge, the Eunice Williams Bridge. What's up, Mr. Cow? What's up, ladies? <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> I know, you're gonna practice. You're gonna... It's harder for the guy on the right. <laughs> Mm. 
So ends it for another day out on the trail. If you'd like to see day three and four out on the PPAT, check back next week. If you find value in the content that we're providing, please consider becoming a subscriber to the channel. You can also find Backcountry Nomad on Facebook and Instagram.